Hello YouTubers, it's Champion DJK coming at you again with another video, and today I've got a, well, a mail find basically from our good buddy, Travis, Heavy Metal 164. Um, so what do you think it's going to be? Of course, there's a bunch of import die cast and a bunch of cool, uh, cool cars that I got like in trade slash I bought a couple from him. And then he also sent a few to Crazy Todd, my local buddy here, and we're going to look at what he got as well so starting with this one here this is a konami it is a toyota crown uh it's a pretty cool little car it's definitely a cool konami casting you got all the suspension these are metal body plastic base sometimes they do have a little bit of issue with the paint though i've noticed this one the clear coat isn't quite smooth it looks like it is bubbling in spots if you can see that there looks like it's got a blister um, in fact, I did bust out the macro today so we can get real close. There's like microscopic what's going on there. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. But nonetheless, it still looks pretty nice. And uh, there's some of the detail there. I'm trying not to shake, but it's really tough. So your taillights, some detail in the front of the car, just looks awesome. So wheel, it's always nice to see the wheel close up. Man, this is really tough here. I know it looks like I'm shaking a lot, but you just move like a little bit. And it's going to look like a lot under that camera lens. So that is the first vehicle out of the box definitely a cool one this thing rolls like crazy good too on those on that suspension all right so the second one here is another konami this one's pretty sweet it's a skyline it's a four-door suspension it's red it's konami so of course plastic base metal body let's take a peek at this one up close looks pretty good but again gosh, man it's really tough to do this without shaking the car a little bit and i just had a little bit of coffee so it's making it worse look at, but look at that detail Again, this one's got, is not without its uh, paint blistering. I don't know if that's just the clear coat or what it is, if the undercoat bubbling through. I am not entirely sure. It's unfortunate, but these cars are still very cool and uh, glad to have them. Glad to check them off the Konami list. Now I'm kind of nuts. I almost want an example of every Konami casting. So that's pretty cool. I like it. Uh, let's see here. Next up, he sent me this. I'm not even going to bother taking this off of the base. And the only reason why is because it's going to end up going right back to him. Uh, so I ended up buying this for a real good buddy price. And then I ended up also uh, simultaneously almost buying one off of eBay that's actually in white, which is a color I prefer over this yellow. And uh, But he had already packed up the box, so this is going to end up getting traded back to him. I know that's goofy, but uh, this is a really nice car. It's a really cool uh, thing. The, the white one will be just a little bit cooler just because it'll go with my TLV because my TLV is white as well. So it'll be a cool compare to have them both in the same color. So anyway, this is really awesome. Thank you very much, Travis, but uh, you'll be getting that one back. Another one he gave me here is this Peugeot. This is a CM's die cast. The base is cracked on it. Uh, the base is cracked and it's also missing its antenna. Other than that, it's in pretty good shape and it's still just kind of cool. It's got a little flea bite up here too, as you can see. So it is not perfect. It's a little damaged. But it's still kind of a cool example of this little uh, Peugeot. So there's that one. Uh, let's see here. Next up is this one. This is an... Alfa Romeo sport wagon. I just thought this Kyosha was super cool. 
Um, this one I am going to take out of the, off the base because I'll display it right away. Go ahead and remove that quick. Ooh, I really like this one. This is Kyosho, so of course you get details all the way around. You get taillights, you get headlights, plastic base, great looking wheels and tires. Just excellent looking vehicle. I really like this one. Uh, yeah, let's take a, let's see if we can macro this one. Let's see if I can keep my hand a little steadier here. Look at that logo up front. Look at those headlights. Those just look bad, man. Silver, the silver flake. Just an amazing amount of detail. As you expect from Kyosho. So, just really cool. So there is that. That's probably my favorite one in the box, for sure. And then this next one he sent me, he said he just threw it in for free uh, because it is damaged. So, and it is a little bit damaged, and I already tried to polish up some of that. You can see that... Uh, those little scratches up in there they don't look nearly as bad now as they did before the camera is bringing them out quite a bit but to the naked eye they're not as noticeable so he's like you can use it as a wheel donor or something or whatever and I'm like ah nah now that I have it in my hands this thing is quite cool um, it's a very beautiful blue color and I think it's fantastic. Yeah, there's a couple of scratches on the top. That kind of stinks, but it's okay. It was free. He threw in a little damage on the hood there, too. But other than that, the car is, is really cool. I don't think we need to look at this one under the macro. Well, maybe just the. We'll do some paint. Checking it out this blue paint you can look at these scratches too so there's the scratches this probably are just in the clear and I might be able to buff them out I did try to use some polish that's why the, and I didn't clean it up very well so that's why there's a little polish residue right there uh, same thing with the front of the car it's got like a little pitting right there so I think this thing took a spill Look at the headlight. Look at the wheels. So I think this thing took a spill, and unfortunately it suffered a little bit of battle damage. There's a little bit right there too. But it's still pretty cool. And I'm still just going to keep it in my Kyosha collection, even though it's not in perfect condition. All right, so there's that. That's everything that I got from, t uh, from uh, <clears throat> Travis. Here's some stuff from... Uh, uh, from Travis to my buddy Crazy Todd. Ooh. This is uh, taped together. I wonder if this is actually what is what it says it is. I doubt it, but you never know. It could be, and it isn't. Ooh, this is cool. Oh, this is sweet. That is a nice Kyosho blue Porsche. Really nice. Such a, a pretty blue color. I have a Porsche in that color. Uh, it's not super easily accessible. It's a different model Porsche though. But this one is awesome. So again, it's Kyosho. Little Porsche 911. And it looks quite fantastic. Should we macro it? We'll do it real quick. Again, you guys will have to tell me if this feature is something I should stop doing. I'm going to do it occasionally. I'm not going to do it in every video, but 
Sometimes these real detailed die casts, it's cool to get a, a nice close up look at what's going on. So, I guess the more I do it, the quicker I'll get at it. I should just edit it, but that takes time too. So, that's pretty awesome though. A little jealous of that one. So, we'll wrap it up nicely. We'll put it back. Well, actually, I'll put it back when we're done filming. Maybe I'll put it back. Maybe I'll just keep it. All right. And then next, let's see, is this guy, Mitsubishi GTO Twin Turbo. I don't know if what is in the box is what is actually in the box. We'll see. Or what is on the box is what is in the box. It looks like it is. That's pretty cool. So this is a Tomica Premium. So it's got plastic wheels, it's got suspension, and it's got painted details, but a nice amount of details. That's a pretty cool car. I wouldn't mind having one of these. I don't really go after the Tomica Premium stuff too much, but some of it is really, really nice. Um, they're not perfect 164 scale. This one is 163rd scale, which I'm not sure exactly why they do that. But very detailed and pretty cool. I've got a couple of these. I've got like maybe four or five. Not of this Mitsubishi, but of the uh, Tomica Premium line. And uh, they're pretty cool. They're definitely pretty cool. My Ferrari Testarossa is awesome. I love that car. All right, so there's that. And then here is this. This is an Aoshima, I'm guessing. I'm not going to unscrew it from the base, but we will take a look at it. That is a crazy color pink. Should we macro it? We can take a close look real quick. So lens details on these Aoshimas. I've I actually don't own any of these. They're kind of cool, but since I'm more of a stock look kind of guy, this isn't necessarily something that I would be too much into. But it does look cool. I'd like to get one of these off the base and kind of roll it around, but I will not do this to Todd's car. So we'll go ahead and put that one back. And let's see what else is in here. We've got, it looks like three or four more. Um, this is a nice one, Ferrari. I've got to be kind of careful with this one because it's probably not screwed to the base. Or, oh, it is. Ferrari 412. That's a that's a pretty one. Here's another one I'm jealous of. That is a really nice one. I don't have a I don't have an example of this casting. I'm definitely gonna have to get it. Really cool. Alright, why not? Take a look at those wheels. Look pretty good. Headlights, Ferrari logo. Fairly fairly detailed. Prancing horse, Ferrari, some dust. Needs to be blown off just a little bit. I'll do that for you, Todd. A little better. Yeah, that's awesome. So, that's a really cool one. I, I like that one a lot. I'm just going to set everything aside here so we can move on, and I will put that back in its rightful home. Let's see. Next thing we got looks like another Kyosha Ferrari. And it is. This is another one we gotta be careful of. I don't know if it's gonna be screwed to the base or not. And it is. Ferrari F40 Competizione. I'm not gonna macro this one. It is cool though. I don't have a Kyosha F40, 
so this is definitely going to be on the must-have list of course I'd rather have it in um, either color besides the yellow one I think it comes in yeah black or red I'd rather have either color than, than this one but still really cool so there's that and then we got one more piece in here and yeah, it's this one right here luxury cruisers I doubt that's what's actually in here so let's open it up oh, that's strange all right so that is an Ertl vintage American muscle Starliner Ford Starliner and the funny thing about this is I just showed this car in my weekly video I just got a three pack of these uh, Ertl vintage American muscle and this is one of the cars that was in it so this is actually a very cool release I guess one thing this allows us to do that's kind of neat because I didn't I don't think I did it in the weekly video was take a look at this Ertl some macro action and you see you got an insert for the grill UFO 895 that's pretty awesome headlights are really cool lensed um, there's, a, there's a wheel and tire some detailing in the back these cars from um, Ertl are just amazing um, let's see here get, see if I can get the trunk open there's nothing to look at under there um, the hood though hood's a little loose on this one let's see if you can get a look inside that motor very cool very detailed very awesome there's a look at the base super detailed and just really cool all right so that's it for that really awesome Travis uh, Travis always sends good boxes of good stuff it's cool he can save on shipping and send it to both Todd and I at the same time I think this is the highlight of the show though for sure that's a Kyosho I'm really glad to have um, I think that looks awesome I think it will take really good pictures um, being that it's silver on a black background I think I will make that look fantastic all right so that's gonna be it for this video guys uh, thanks for watching have a great day